let me show you how to do the ripped paper transition in Premiere Pro. This is a really simple effect, which you can easy do it by yourself without any plug-ins or presets. In the description, you can download this ripped animation for free. Drag this effect between two clips and set the blend mode on screen. Highlight the ripped animation and scale the timeline up so you see every frame a bit closer. Make a cut in the beginning of this effect and make another cut when the ripped paper effect is changing. Continue this step and always make a cut. You can also use ripped paper PNG files. Drag the ripped animation on video 3 and copy the first cutted clip on video 2. Highlight the copied clip and go to the effect controls where we now draw a simple mask around the cut. As already mentioned, you can download this ripped effect in the description. When you are done drawing the mask around the rips, go to the effects panel and search for the black and white effect. You can now choose on which part you want the black and white effect. Let's choose the part where we just made the mask. You see the color is changing. If you highlight now the clip below, you can scale it in the effect controls. You can really go crazy with the scale and rotation, or you can also make it smooth. Do now the exact same step with the other part of the rip transition and copy the next clip on video too. Again, draw a new mask around the new rip. The masking will separate the clip so you can then choose any effect you want. Let's continue with the black and white effect and drag it to one of the two clips. Highlight then the clip on video one and play again with the scale and rotation. Small hint, always try to have some faces in the rip so scale some frames of this effect with a face. But you can even zoom in like crazy. As I said before, find your own style. Draw another mask on the upper clip on the next frame and do the same procedure for the rest of this transition. You can also play with other effects, but in my opinion, the black and white effect is working really smooth. And let me say it on more time. This ripped transition you can download for free in the description. If you have any question, just let me know in the comments and I will help you out. Let's see how our transition is looking now. Looks really, really dope. We can now pimp this with some nice simple overlays. What's working always good are some dirt or grain overlays and of course some film burns. The ones I use in this video, you can download them in the description, of course. Let's see how this is looking with a film burn. Already crazy. And now let's add some grain or dirt overlay to pimp this even more. Set the blend mode to screen first. Let's see how it looks now with those overlays. I think we can go with this. Let's bring more energy now to the rest. Add some film burn to the last cut of this timeline. The film burns you can download in the description. These are the perfect way to make a simple transition in your projects. Create now an adjustment layer and drag it to your timeline. Make the adjustment layer six frames long and copy a couple times. Take the first two adjustment layer and drag it to the first cut in this project. We will now add a simple wipe transition to this cut and a shake. For that, open the essential pack which you can download in the description and drag and drop the effects on the adjustment layers. I created around 50 effects which you really need and makes your editing life much easier. Check it out how this transition is looking. Lots of energy, right? Let's copy the shake to the clip with our film burn to also have here some more energy. Looks very dope. Last, we can add some flashes to the rip paper effect if you want. For that, make an adjustment layer around three frames long and add a flash to it. Bring the adjustment layer to the beginning of the ripped paper effect. Of course, you can find this SFX also in the description for free. Make sure to subscribe to my channel.